What's up? This is EasyOSX, and today I'm showing you how to use events in iMovie. Events, in many cases, are an underutilized feature in iMovie, but they can be very handy. Events are essentially folders for your media that you can use to organize things. So, for example, I have footage and other assets like logos, symbols, etc. that I'll commonly use when making videos. Rather than importing them into every single project manually, having an event for these assets means that I always have them available. Let's get started by making an event. You can do so by either hitting File in the menu bar, then clicking New Event, or by right-clicking in the sidebar and hitting New Event, or by using the keyboard shortcut Option and N. By default, the event created is named based off the day it was created, but you can easily change that once it's created, or by clicking on the event and then hitting the Return key on your keyboard. You should name the event something related to the kind of assets it's going to contain. Now that it's created, we can add any sort of pictures, audio, or video that we want to by hitting one of the import buttons. You can also drag any assets from your current project or other events onto the event you created to add them to that event. Once you've added a few items into the event, you can do a little bit of organization. Just like your project, you can rate items either with a favorite, or reject, which will add a green or red line respectively to the top of the clip. Then you can choose to adjust the view to go from showing all clips, to hiding rejected clips, showing only your favorites, or showing rejected ones only. You can also delete items from the event to take them out altogether, but be careful doing this until you're sure that you don't need that clip. In the beginning phases, it may be better to reject clips and hide them from view instead of deleting them in case you change your mind. You can also hit the gear icon to adjust the size of the clips and the zoom level for longer video or audio, as well as show audio waveforms for tracks of or with audio. You should use the view menu in the menu bar to help you sort your clips in the events by name, date created, etc. You can even choose to separate the clips within an event by the days that they were taken or created, which can help you easily sort through items if you have a lot of them that you've built up over time. If you're getting items from an outside source, meaning something is stored in a location where your iMovie library isn't, you may have some performance hits when working with that file in iMovie. You can alleviate this issue by right-clicking on the event and hit Consolidate Event Media to bring it all into the library. However, if your media is already in the library, then you'll get this message that there isn't anything to consolidate. You may find that you have multiple events created over time, so if you need to sort through them, you can do so by right-clicking on the event and hovering over Sort Events By, and then selecting the order you want to sort them. You can sort them by the names of the events, from newest to oldest, and vice versa. If you want to merge two events together, then you can drag one event on another. The event you drag will merge into the one you drag it into, meaning it will also disappear from the list, and all of its media will be inside the receiving event. If you need to undo this, just hit the Command and Z buttons at the same time, or hit the Edit button in the menu bar and hit Undo Event Merge. The old event will return to the list with its media intact, and the media from that event will disappear from the receiving one, though sometimes you may need to click out of that event and back into it to see the changes. If you decide you don't need an event anymore, you can delete it by right-clicking on the event in the list and hitting Delete Event. As before, make sure you're absolutely sure that you want to delete it, as deleting an event will cause the media inside of it to be removed from your library. You don't want those accidentally removed from your project especially if there are items that you use frequently. The files won't be deleted from their original locations on the hard drive though, so you can still recover them. And you can still hit Command and Z at the same time to undo your deletion. Thank you all so much for watching. If this video helped you out, then give it a like. It'll really help the channel out. Likewise, if you want more Mac, iOS, and other Apple tips, tricks, and advice, you can subscribe to the channel. You can also check us out on the website, easyosx.net, as well as on our social media pages. Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll catch you next time.